So, what's your name and how old are you? Yes, I'm Charmaine and I'm 23 years old. Uh, Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering. Oh, wow. Yes. Impressive. <laughs> okay, so Charmaine, um, would you consider dating a foreigner? Yes. Wow. I would love to. You would, would love, love to? to try to date a foreigner. Okay, so um, why is that? I think uh, to try something new, to try, because uh, from my past, I always dated uh, Filipino guys, and mm -hmm. I think uh, nowadays it's okay to date a foreigner. Okay, so you want to explore? Yeah, explore. Does it matter what race a guy is? For me, it doesn't matter, mm -hmm. as long as either it's white or black or brown. As long as I'm comfortable with that person, mm -hmm. I'll go for it. you go for it. Yeah. So, all races are welcome. Yeah. Okay. Very welcome. Very welcome. <laughs> if you married a foreigner, would you like to live here or migrate to the West? I would prefer to live here in the Philippines. I mm -hmm. uh, would love to go to their country, but just for a vacation. Would you expect him to support your family? Uh, no. It's a no, no. I can do that. Mm -hmm. If ever I'll graduate from this of course I'm taking, I can uh, sustain my family. Let's talk about looks. Um, what about the height? Yeah, I preferred uh, taller guys. Much taller than me because I'm 4'9 and I prefer uh, taller guys is 5'6, 5'7, 5'8. He's much really taller than me. You want someone who's thin, muscular, athletic, fluffy guys? I love fluffy guys. You yeah. love fluffy guys? Yeah. <laughs> fluffy guys. I'm okay. not that fluffy but I think I would go for those who have uh, stomach, who's you want, very you fluffy. Fluffy yeah. belly? Yeah, fluffy belly. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's so cute when you just uh, pinch Pinch, them. pinch. Yeah. Fluffy. <laughs> so you want someone who's got a um, beer belly a bit? Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay. What about hair? Would For you like hair. to go out with someone with no hair? I would love to if it, given a chance. How about someone who's, who looks like Mr. Clean? Oh, Mr. Clean. Oh, that's really bald. No hair at all. <laughs> yeah. So would you still go out with him? Yeah, I would really love to. Okay. What about facial hair though? For facial hair, I would love people who have very beard on beard. their beard. Yeah, beard. And, must, and a mustache. Yeah. Mustache. Okay. Yeah, it's very popular. Yeah. Why is that? It's, it looks because like it tickles? Uh, for girls, like it's manly. manly. It's manly. Yeah. Oh, we like our men. Yeah. Manly. Manly. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in to the Black Skull Show. I'm your handsome host, the Black Skull, coming to you on this New Year's Day 2023. Hope everybody had a safe and happy New Year's Eve, and I hope you have a better New Year's Day. Now, it's the new year, and many men are planning to go to the Philippines. I get questions all the time. Are the women easy to approach in the Philippines? Let me answer that for you. I will say that, yes, they are easy to approach in the Philippines. I found that the many years that I've lived in the Philippines, that women in the Philippines are pretty friendly. You have your exceptions, but for the most part, many of them are approachable. Now, keep in mind this, guys. There is no shortage of women in the Philippines. The Philippines is a Catholic country that doesn't believe in birth control, so they're very overpopulated. So there's plenty of females to go around. So don't be worried about not being able to meet a woman. Trust me, you'll meet a woman. Don't let the whole experience overwhelm you because the moment you get off the plane, You're going to have people coming at you from all points. Taxi drivers trying to get you to get in their taxis. So don't have a breakdown. Just get to your hotel and get settled in. Once you get settled into the hotel, there are women everywhere. Just go to the mall, go to the grocery stores, walking up and down the streets. If you see a woman that catches your eye, go up to her in a friendly manner introduce yourself and what i always did was ask them for their facebook account 
once I got their Facebook Messenger, later on that evening or the next day, I would message them, invite them out to eat. If they don't have any things going on behind the scenes, like a husband or a boyfriend, they'll meet you at Jolly Bee, they'll meet you at the mall, or meet you at the movie theater, go on a date with them, and then if you feel like it and you feel like it's appropriate, invite them back to your apartment, to your condo, to your hotel room, and let things go from there. It's very easy. I got to the point in the Philippines where I dated so much, I had to take a break because it's so overwhelming. You have women calling you all the time, wanting to connect with you. So it's definitely a paradise for the average guy. You don't need to have Hollywood good looks or be a rock star to pull chicks in the Philippines. Just be a decent guy and don't be shy. If you're a shy person, you're not going to make it there. So don't be shy. Don't be afraid to go up and approach any woman that you see and talk to them because if they're single, you have a good chance of meeting the woman of your dreams. This young lady that the Filipino P interviewed is a prime example of the thought process of the majority of the Filipino women that you're going to meet. They're not concerned about your race or color or what you look like. They're just happy to meet a foreigner. And if you keep that in mind, you won't have any problems. I had a guy message me the other day talking about, why are you going to send all these losers over to the Philippines? When I got to the Philippines 20 years ago, it was a different type of men over there. See, I ran into those type of guys in the Philippines. They're trying to keep the Philippines to themselves so they can exploit it. They're afraid that if somebody else comes over there, their game is up. So they'll do whatever they can do to try to discourage you from getting there. And what's so sad about it, they like to poison some Filipino women into believing that certain cultures or races are bad. So that's why you hear some of these Filipino ladies online talking about uh, Filipinos don't like black people or black guys. That's a lie. I've been to some of the most remote areas in the Philippines and had no problem talking to anyone, any female or anyone there. If anything, they respected me because I was American and they didn't look at me as being a black guy. They just looked at me as being a foreigner. And they were excited to meet a foreigner. So if you enjoy the content, like and subscribe the Black Skull Show on YouTube and also follow and like on TikTok. Stay tuned for more good content coming from the Black Skull Show.